Food delivery getting even more convenient for us. Many grocery chains now offer delivery with Instacart. You can choose which local grocery store you want your food from, but as WMER 2 News Mallory Safaste found out, some stores charge you more for using this service. We found that on top of service fees, delivery charges, and tip, some grocery chains charge more for the exact same items you'd get in store. Instacart includes this disclaimer in their app, but we wanted to find out how much extra Instacart shoppers are paying. I hate to admit to my age, but I'm 75 plus and I have osteoarthritis of my knees, so it's difficult for me to get around. Sandy Smith may not be as mobile as she once was. However, the retired nurse is just as sharp and meticulous. Instacart charged me $16.49. This pile of paperwork is reminiscent of a patient's chart. For months, she's written down dates and measurements. Instead of vitals, she's tracking dollars and how much she spent using the grocery delivery service Instacart. The Instacart total was $87.10. She's used the service since August, but it wasn't until December that she made an unusual discovery. When I got my order, there was a receipt from the store that the shopper shopped at. There had never been a receipt until that time. I just went by what Instacart charged me. Line by line, she started to compare what the shopper paid and what she was charged. When I got grapes, the Growl's receipt read $4.81. The Instacart receipt was $7.62. You got ham. So here it says $13.06. $11.87. Sandy also pays $10 a month for delivery, plus tip on each order, and she doesn't get the discounts she used to from her preferred shopper's card. She knew the service wasn't cheap, but she didn't realize she would be paying more for each individual food item. As a senior, I resent that. I'm having a hard enough time with rent that goes up, the cost of medications, uh, and I'm on a fixed income. We did some digging. According to Instacart's website, retailers set the price for products on the platform. They include a note that prices are higher than in-store prices, but they don't say how much higher. We tried the app at Safeway and requested a receipt. We also noticed a difference. A bag of tortillas cost 80 cents more, onions 85 cents more. So we reached out to Safeway. They said there is a premium pricing structure for delivery orders. Nothing more about the difference. Grawls responded to Sandy by email. They said because Instacart charges them a significant fee to use their website and delivery service, the prices on Instacart are their regular prices plus a 10% charge to offset Instacart's fees. For Sandy, these markups only amount to around $10 more per order. Considering she places an order every week, that's hundreds more per year, not including the cost of delivery. I have to watch my pennies, as I think many, many seniors do. And at first I was very embarrassed to say to my friends, hey, I can't go out to lunch with you this month because I really got to watch my, my money. But that's what it's gotten to be, and I found out I'm not the only one. If you want to see the price difference for yourself, be sure to request a store receipt from your Instacart shopper. And if you don't want to pay a markup, look for the words everyday store prices in the pricing policy. As for Sandy, who relies on grocery delivery, she said she plans to continue using the service. She's diabetic and feels Grawl's food best fits her dietary needs. Well, if you have a matter for Mallory, she wants to hear from you. You can email her at Mallory at WMAR.com. And you can click with us online at WMAR2news.com for updates on top stories and breaking news. Also for news and weather while you're out there on the go, download the WMAR2 app in the App Store. You can watch live radar. Get breaking news sent right to your phone. I'm Jamie Costello. This WMAR2 News update is sponsored by Jones Junction.